up guys it is poor master evan here and in this video i'm going to be showing you guys some retail prices for skylanders mandatators for the creation crystals the senseis and the starter packs now excuse me if i cough in this video like i said in my last video i am sick so if i cough uh just m don't mind it so i'm gonna re read this and um i'm gonna read the retail prices and stuff so it says the Sensei Skylanders are grouped into 10 battle classes Knight, Ninja, Bowslinger, Centennial, Smasher, Quickshot, Bazooka, Bazooka, or Bazooka, Sorcerer, Brawler, and Swashbuckler. Each Sensei also has their own unique benefits, including the ability to unleash Sky Chi, the ultimate battle class super move. Sky Chi is unlocked at Sensei Shrines, so it looks like Sensei Shrines might be what our elemental gates will be this time around because. We had like an elemental gate last year, but it was like with the vehicles, like it was like a tech, a tech racing zone and stuff. And then in trap team, we had the uh, elemental trap master gates. So with sensei shrines, it might mean like you might have to have an air, probably like an air, um, what's the name? An air quick shot to unlock one. Or say a water swashbuckler. I'm I'm not saying that there will be a water swashbuckler. I'm just saying that as an example, like they probably will have to have that element and that battle class in order for you to unlock it. The creation crystals are the physical toy that stores a single imaginator. Each is elementally aligned and pulsate with light on the portal, so they'll glow like the light cores when you put them on. They make that little glowing, they glow. They <coughs> they will cost nine ninety nine each, so they're gonna be like ten bucks. Now some people are gonna be mad with this that the price is ten dollars for a little creation crystal, which is probably like that big, maybe. Now, I mean the traps were about almost seven dollars. They're like four four or five ninety nine. Now I would like them to I would like the creation crystals to be like Four or five ninety nine. That would be a more reasonable price, but I can see why they picked nine ninety nine as the price for the creation crystals, because you're pretty much making your own Skylander with the creation crystals. So I think what they're doing is like because nine ninety nine was how much cores cost. So I think that's what they're doing. Like they're taking the price that was for cores, and they're using that as what it will be for the for the Skylanders. For like for the cores, they were nine ninety nine. So I think that's what they're doing, making the creation crystals be nine ninety nine because of that reason that you get to create your own Skylander. Now the standard, the standard starter pack includes Kingpin, Golden Queen, a creation crystal, and a portal of power. And obviously, you will be getting the poster in the game, and that will be seventy four ninety nine. Like every year, it's always seventy four ninety nine for the regular starter pack. Usually rounds out to about eighty dollars. The Dark Edition pack includes Dark Master Kingpin, Dark Golden Queen, Dark Wolfgang, and three Creation Crystals for $99.99. Now, that is a reasonable price because they always do that every year with the Dark Editions. It's always $99.99. It'll always be $100 because you get three figures. Three figures or two figures. It's usually different every year. <coughs> now, the one a lot of people have been asking is how much will the Crash... Bandicoot starter pack B, and what you get in the crash starter, the crash starter pack. So what you'll get in the crash starter pack is, the crash starter pack is exclusive to PlayStation and includes Crash Bandicoot, Kingpin, Golden Queen, a Creation Crystal, and a Portal of Power for ninety nine ninety nine. Now ninety nine ninety nine. The reason why, and don't get mad, guys, but the reason why it is ninety nine ninety nine for the crash pack. Is it comes with three figures. It comes with Crash Bandicoot, Kingpin, and Golden Queen, but it only comes with one Creation Crystal. Now, for the, it being that price, and you only get three figures and one Creation Crystal instead of it being like the Dark Edition pack where you get three figures and three Creation Crystals. Now, with the Crash Bandicoot pack, if they could add at least one more Creation Crystal to that, that would be awesome. But I doubt they will. But I hope it's not the fire creation crystal because you get the in the dark one you get you get life, fire, and dark. 
Now, in the regular one, you only get fire. So it's maybe a different element, but it most likely will be fire because that's what they put in all the starter packs. <coughs> the game will follow up Skylanders Battlecast and be available on PS4, Xbox One, PS3, Xbox 360, and Wii U. No confirmation of Wii or 3DS or iOS like previous years. It will release on October 13th in Australia slash New Zealand. It will release October 14th in Europe and October 16th in North America. So, to the people that are watching it that live in Australia and New Zealand, you guys will be getting it the earliest you guys will be getting it October 13th. And to the viewers that are watching this in Europe, you guys will be getting it the 14th. And to all the viewers in North America, um, like they had announced, the game will be coming out October 16th for us in North America. So most like so we're gonna be getting it the latest, but they always do that every year. Everybody else gets it a little early, earlier, but it doesn't really matter to me because that's how it is. Everybody gets it before us, but it doesn't matter to me because then I can wait longer for the hype and everything like that. But um, so it so there's no confirmation that'll be on iOS. Now, I really do hope it's on iOS because I had a lot of fun playing the tablet version for Skylander Superchargers and Trap Team. Now, I can see why they're scrapping Wii and 3DS because they did they did announce that they might be doing just next gen um, consoles, which would be the PS4, the Xbox One, PS3, Xbox 360, and Wii U. So I'm happy that they're going to have the Wii U because I have a Wii U. I have an Xbox One and I have a Wii, so I can probably get a starter pack for the Xbox and a starter pack <coughs> for the Wii U. But what I might do now that I know what is in the Crash Bandicoot pack, I might, even though it says for PlayStation, I might get the Crash Bandicoot pack to get Crash Bandicoot, regular Kingpin, Golden Queen, and the Creation Crystal, and then maybe buy the Dark Edition pack for my Wii U or my Xbox. Um, but that's like about almost two hundred dollars right there, so most likely I might do that. I might not do that. It's all depending on how much I will have before the game comes out. But that's all I really want to say in this video. Um, they do not list the retail price for the um senseis here though. But I will tell you what the price is. Um, in Scoundrel Boy and Girls video when when the game was announced and everything. They said that the Creation Crystals will be $9.99, $10. <coughs> and they said that the Senseis will be $14.99. So they'll be, um, they'll be like the price of Giants. So maybe they're the same size as the Giants. Maybe they're not the same size as the Giants. But who knows. Um, but that is the price. So you guys can write it all down. Um, we will be getting 31 Senseis. Now you can probably exclude Crush Bandicoot. Kingpin, Golden Queen, because <coughs> you guys get those in the starter pack, so you can probably exclude those, and then you can start calculating how much it'll be to get them all. But right now, we have not gotten a confirmation of how many Creation Crystals and how many Senseis they will be releasing on the release date of the game. Now, <coughs> we haven't seen packaging for them yet, but that's all I want to say in this video, guys. Um, I will have other videos coming soon. Maybe I'll have another video today. But I will be um, uploading a video about the Sensei Shrines. So stay tuned for that video. But yeah, $9.99 for the Creature Crystals. Um, the starter packs are pretty much all the same. But tell me what you guys think about this in the comment section below. And But that's mainly it, guys. So thank you guys for watching this video. Make sure you like and subscribe. Um, like I said, just tell me down in the comments what you guys think about these prices. If um, you agree or you disagree that the Creation Crystals should be $9.99. But um, I think it's a reasonable price. But that's, like I said, that's all I want to say in this video. So thank you guys for watching this video. I'll leave the links to my social media down below. But that's it. So thank you guys for watching this video. I'll see you guys in the next video. This has been Poor Master Evan. Peace out, guys.